The editing features are new to version 3.0 and they are some of the most powerful and useful features found in the program so I would encourage you to take the time to learn how to use them. Um, two things as we start here. First of all there are two ways in which you're going to use these editing features. One is you're going to use them based upon the progress indicator which is this white bar that intersects the waveform file or this white line. So in some cases the edits will be made based upon where that progress indicator is located. The second way in which edits might be made is by selecting an area within the waveform file and you select by holding down your left mouse button and then dragging it and however much of the waveform file you cover uh, is how much of the file that you've selected and as you can see when you select the waveform file um, for the editing functions it's highlighted in this blue color and you can adjust it once you've done your initial selection by simply hovering your mouse near the beginning or ending point and grabbing a hold of it by selecting uh, with your left mouse button holding it down and then sliding it again. So those are the two uh, different methods by which you're going to be using the editing functions. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what those functions are in this edit button. As you can see we have six different available options here. The first of these is cut and cut simply means that if you have an area highlighted like we had previously, let me just do that for you. If you have an area highlighted, cut means that it will remove that piece or that section and it will place a copy of that on your clipboard. Copy simply means that it will copy that section paste refers to something that is already on your clipboard and if you're going to paste then you're going to be pasting at the point of insertion which will be this progress indicator here this white line that intersects the waveform file so when you paste that is the sort of point of demarcation that you need to keep in mind if you select delete delete simply does that it deletes it but it does not put a copy of it on your clipboard and it deletes um, the area that you've selected such as this area over here. When you insert silence again that function is uh, exercised based upon the insertion point of where this progress indicator is. And lastly if you change volume the volume change uh, occurs based upon um, a selection that you've made. So if you make a selection like this and you select change volume you have the ability then within that um, dialog that opens to either increase or decrease volume. So that's a very brief and basic overview of these different editing features and that will conclude this particular video. I encourage you though to watch some of the other videos on editing because I'm going to give you specific concrete examples of ways in which you might use this editing which I think you will find very helpful. Thanks.